there's a, a kind of an expansion or extension of the concept of we, we emphasize to students global awareness, global understanding. It really is about understanding people who uh, have a different cultural uh, background uh, than uh, uh, you do. Um, you have uh, family in Italy, and uh, you've spent time at Chieti, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, how does that, how has that provided you a kind of global awareness? Um, well, not to bring it full circle, but it's what I wrote my college entrance exam on. Oh, um, one thing I didn't check yeah, before no, this that's, interview. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so, my parents are both Italian. Um, they came to the U.S. in 1976 uh, thinking they'd stay for a few years, and they're still there. Um, and so, we grew up, and the way I described it to people is that I'm domestically Italian and socially American. So, like, my concept of a house and a family and that whole dynamic is very Italian, but, like, how I interact with friends and sort of my worldview outside the home is very American. Um, and I think what was so helpful or so privileged about, you know, seeing both sides is that it gives you perspective. And, it go, and you know, you, I'd go hang out with all my cousins in Italy who were effectively the same as me, just born in a different country, and they had radically different points of views and habits and sort of... Um, uh, sort of interests, and you just realize, man, it's a big world, and my point of view is one among many, and um, you, should, you should always remember that. And so I don't think it was something my parents sort of like set out to do, but it was just the exposure that I got sort of, sort of gave me that perspective, which in hindsight, I'm very thankful for. Yeah. So you mentioned family, which is a, a good lead into telling people you're about to become a father for yeah. the first time. Um, a couple weeks. How, uh, how does, how does your entrepreneurial experience influence the way you think about it and becoming a parent and starting a, a family and now a, a new generation? Well, um, my wife will often um, chide me. I will use the sort of plural pronoun we uh, to mean both me and Thumbtack and me and her. Uh, <laughs> and she will often have to ask, wait, 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 which we are you referring to right now? Um, and so I feel like, um, Thumbtack is in many ways like this thing that we have birthed and we've raised. Um, it is sort of an organism and it has, I can control it sort of, um, but actually the bigger and older it gets, the, the less actual power I have to make it do what I want. Um, and so it has been one of the best things ever. Uh, I'm really excited to be a dad and I'm excited to just sort of, you know, help this little kid sort of figure their own way through this world. and. Yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. I honestly think it's gonna give me, um, it will put Thumbtack into perspective as well. You know, you can get caught up in your own stuff a little too much uh, when you sort of have your own company and you're working really hard on this thing. You can at times see that as the whole entire world, um, which is helpful, it helps you work hard and, and pay attention to what's going on. But there are times where that, that probably is unhealthy or gets taken too far. So I'm excited for this little human to, um, not care at all about my work and to uh, be interested in her own things that, that uh, distract me from all that. Columbia College class of 2040. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying, 2040? <laughs> oh, I hadn't, I hadn't added that up yet. <laughs> wow. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> yes, it adds up, <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, so the Columbia College Alumni Association website has a, a page titled Distinguished Alumni. There are 101 people on that list, and they're listed alphabetically. Uh, you're the last one listed alphabetically. You're also the youngest. How does that make you feel? Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen this list. Uh, I think I would also be at the end if it was, you know, in terms of like notoriety. Um, my mother, actually, when I, I forwarded it to her, she said, are you sure they haven't made a mistake? Um, <laughs> which gives you a sense of the type of mother I have. Um, so I'm very proud, uh, but I think most of all, it's exciting. I, I like looked a lot of these people up on Wikipedia, and some you know, but many you didn't. And uh, it's awesome to be in the company of, of all these people, and it was, it was you know, exciting to, to be on that list. So thank you very much. That's very good. An, 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 another one of the people who appeared at uh, Startup Columbia today, George Yankopoulos, is also, also on that list. Um, what could someone tweet about you that would make you the proudest? Uh, 
So um, I, th I think something that I'm very proud of is the, the impact um, that we get to have. So Thumbtack is a platform that helps customers hire professionals, caterers, tutors, any and all local professionals. Um, and I had this experience actually last Monday, this Monday, um, where I was having people over for dinner and uh, my apartment needed some tidying up. My regular cleaner, my regular Thumbtack cleaner was busy and so I go on Thumbtack to find somebody to come that day. Um, and this woman, uh, Lucia, comes and uh, I meet to sort of give her the keys and she walks right up to me and she says, Marco, thank you for saving my life. And you know, that's something that really sets you back and puts you on your heels. And then she gives me this huge hug. Um, and this woman was from Venezuela, um, which as you probably know is, is, has not had a good run of late. Uh, she had to leave with nothing. Um, she came to this country uh, with basically nothing. And with Thumbtack has been able to build this cleaning business. Um, and now she supports her family here, a bunch of family back in Venezuela. And the pride that she had was just overwhelming. Um, and so I feel the best when I hear these stories. Um, and it really speaks to what we're going, and I really think to the power of technology. You know, too often technology is pitted as a substitute for labor, as a foe to workers. Um, it's gonna destroy jobs, and that will happen, and actually we should celebrate that because that's how we get more productive and ultimately wealthier as a society. But technology can also em empower labor and can empower workers. And we as a platform are doing that, and there's certainly others as well. And when you see those two come together, where this woman who had the hustle and had the drive and had the sort of charisma to be a great company builder meets this platform that helped her solve this online marketing challenge, which she otherwise, I think, wouldn't have been able to do. And you put the two together, and you can have real magic. Um, and that's, that's why we do it. That's why we get up. So I'm, I'm sure there are young people, college students, engineering students here, undergraduates who are saying, I want to be him. What would, what's you, what would you say to someone who says, I want to be just like you? Um, get started. Um, I think there is no one background um, that tells you uh, that sort of um, is best for this path. I mean, you got to remember Zuck was a psych major. Right, you know, they've gussied it up as if he'd sort of taken a lot of tech classes, but he was a psych major. And there's, there's no one thing you need to learn, there's no one experience you need to have. At the end of the day, uh, you just have to want it. And you have to be excited about the process of learning how to sort of discover it and sort of develop it um, and just get going. And actually, I think one of the things that makes me excited to come back and participate in these events is that Columbia is fostering more and more of that. Um, so I'm not saying drop out of school and sort of just jump into the deep end, but find ways where you can begin to develop this passion, where you can meet other passionate people so that you can accelerate that process. Um, and know that it is doable. I think the single biggest mistake people make is thinking that for whatever reason it is not doable, that they don't have what it takes, that they are not smart enough or have the right connections or whatever. Like, that is never the case. Um, the people who succeed, I think the primary characteristic is grit and tenacity. Um, and start building that muscle, just go for it.